The most radical Irish organization was the Molly Maguires, a secret society that used terror to fight for the rights of Irish workers in the anthracite mines of Pennsylvania. In this day, 1860s, 70s, one worked in the mines a minimum of 12 hours a day for one dollar. Life expectancy in the mines sometimes was counted by the months. Miners died by the dozens, week by week. There was absolutely no safety standards or controls. When conditions worsened, these Irish miners turned to violence. They often would destroy mine owner's property, disrupt his activities as part of their methods to gain increases in wages and benefits. In retaliation, mine owners employed the Pinkerton Detective Agency to stop them. Ironically, James McPartland, an Irishman, finally infiltrated the very leadership of the Molly Maguires and managed to break the organization. In 1875, 20 members of the Molly Maguires were hanged by the Pinkertons, putting an end to their secret society. But it was just the beginning of Irish involvement in the American labor movement. I was born in the city of Cork, Ireland. My people were poor. For generations, they had fought for Ireland's freedom. Many of my folks have died in that struggle. My father came to America in 1835, and as soon as he had become an American citizen, he sent for his family. Of that citizenship, I have ever been proud. Mary Harris Jones. During the Civil War, Mary Harris Jones was married and lived with her husband in Memphis, Tennessee. By 1867, they had four children. Friends called her Mother Jones but she lost her whole family that year to yellow fever. In her grief, she moved to Chicago and worked as a seamstress. Here, in the Irish Bowery, she healed herself by focusing on the suffering of others. I would look out of the plate glass windows and see the poor, shivering wretches, jobless and hungry. The contrast of their condition with that of the tropical comfort of the people for whom I sewed was painful to me. My employers seem neither to notice nor to care. Mother Jones was a living example of someone who had the luck of the Irish. Just four years after losing her family, she lost every possession she owned in the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, allegedly started by the cow of an Irish lady, one Mrs. O'Leary. For some reason, after this devastating Chicago fire, she attended a Knights of Labor meeting. There, she decided to dedicate the rest of her life to organize working men to fight for better conditions and higher pay. Adopting all laborers as her children, Mother Jones made her purpose known. I am not a humanitarian. I am a hell raiser. For the next 50 years, Mother Jones was at the forefront of every major strike in America, landing in jail numerous times, raising hell from workers' rights. Until her death in 1930, she continued this righteous fight. <laughs> 